There was an old prophet who dared to take a stand for the prophets of Baal. Hi, we're continuing on in this, and I hope it's been the last video, amen. <laughs> on, on the fivefold ministry um, function uh, and uh, ascension gifts that the Yeshua has left um, for us as the body of Christ. And I've been talking about the fact that we need to give him back his titles, amen. No time that you see the, the, capital, the capital A when it came to Paul and Peter and the other apostles, James, and you never saw that. They always said they were the apostle or a apostle or whatever. They were not walking around telling, I'm Apostle Paul. Paul, Apostle Peter, and there's actually, I believe, in all everything that I am, that there's such a strong spirit behind that, and that's why so many people are, are gravitating, you know, to be one of these one of these titles, and 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 so out of order. That's why the Bible says we have false prophets, false apostles, and teachers, and and pastors, and so on and so forth. And so, please know this as well. In in, in John 10 and 10, we teach that you know the the, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. When you study the, that the scripture. Um, John 10 properly, you'll see that the father is talking about leaders. He's talking about leadership has come to kill, steal, and destroy. Now we know who's behind it. Of course, we know the enemy's behind it, but it is a leadership as in Yeshua's day and in Paul's day. They have problem with leadership, amen, who want to claim they know everything, who held to the traditions of men. I'm going to do a separate teaching on that. Who held to the traditions of men instead of the word of Elohim, the word of Yahweh, our father, the word of Yeshua that has been given. We are uh, people of a kingdom. We are citizens of a kingdom and we have a king. And Yeshua is that king. He is the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, pastors. And he is the pastor and teacher. Hallelujah. The pastor, the fourth gift given in the kingdom. Hallelujah. It's not the general. And we've operated many years. And that's why the body of Christ have not come to the place that they've been called to come. Because they're seeking to operate without the gifts of the, the apostle. Without the gifts of the, 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 the gift, the ascension, the functionality of the apostle and prophet and the evangelist. Amen. And sometimes people will say, oh, the, the pastor teacher is connected. Well, of course, because they're caregivers. And so although they're two separate uh, functionalities, um, the pastor has been able to teach. But the pastor, the fourth gift is called as a nurturer. They're called as one to take care of the flock, the caregivers of the flock. Amen. They're called to guard the flock. They're the ones who are uh, uh, excuse me, at home in a sense, amen, because the apostles have been sent out. They oversee the, the different uh, uh, houses or the different uh, 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 pastoral ship, amen, that they oversee uh, of, of, of gatherings or congregations, assemblies, excuse me for all this, uh, trying to find my correct words, amen. And so the prophet who receives, amen, guidance from the Father and, and releases unto us to receive instructions in, in the timing, okay? And again, uh, Ephesians 2 and 20 tells us that the apostle and the, the apostle and the prophet or the foundation, amen, Yeshua being the cornerstone in which the church is being built. Ephesians 4 tells us that we have these five ascension functionalities and gifts are called to undergird. Hallelujah. And so leadership must be humble. They're, they're held doubly accountable. Hallelujah. They're called to serve, undergird, and lift you up. Amen. Um, as the body of Christ to go in to do, to heal the sick and raise the dead. Hallelujah. That you may not, not be tossed to and fro. Amen. And so we all have our functionality. He cannot come and we cannot become. Amen. That one perfect man that's mentioned here in Ephesians 4. We cannot function properly with the power to overcome the enemy. Hallelujah. The kingdom advancing cannot be done. Hallelujah. Without. And I'm not going to speak to this now, but you cannot continue to hold back women in your church um, that have been called to the five uh, fivefold ascension gifts of functionality. There is no male or female in the spirit. We are spirit beings. The church is a spirit. Amen. How can the kingdom be in you? As the Bible says, if you are not a spirit, amen, the Holy Spirit came to live within your spirit. This body here is going to lay down. Hallelujah. And, and, and in Genesis, he gave a mandate to the mankind. Amen. And from mankind, that one man became a male and a female for reproduction and functionality in which the father desired the multiplication of his family. 
And so I can't go in, I'm not going to go any further now. I wanted to extend this video, but there are teachings now and books coming out like never before by men who are saying, Hey y'all, we got this thing wrong. You cannot because he cannot come back unless the female that he ordained in and gave dominion to in Genesis one come forth in her calling because they, we are also the body of the kingdom and also part of, and in scripture, you see time and time again, you have uh, women who were apostles, Junior, uh, uh, you have many, uh, even married couples who both were apostles. I can't think my names, the names are just skipping my mind right now. Don't ask me why, but they are. But we know it's here in scripture, the book of Acts. Amen. And so what I'm trying to say to you right now is that we must come into obedience and alignment. We have to know we have to know who we are and know whose we are and stand upon that. But what I know is going to be so hard for some pastors who are hearing this or some bishops who are hearing this and, and, and you can't dispute it because you know the, the word bishop and elder and pastor are pretty much, they mean the same thing, amen? But, but, but we must come into order and you must come into order. If you, are, if you are called, you are going to humble yourself. And I know this stuff, I was hurt when I got the truth. I was hurt. I dealt a lot of things, but I had to come into alignment. I had to say what he said. Amen. I have to be what he's called me to be. I cannot be a disease in the kingdom, a dis-ease, out of position, functioning the way I have no business functioning. You have no right to say that you are leadership, but yet you are not humble and you are not the least and you cannot admit to being wrong. I've had to, to repent to my children. I've had to re I repented to those who I've taught. I wish I can take back. I heard a woman say not long ago, a woman of God leader said, you know, I wrote some books and I, I wish I can go back and gather all those books because I wrote them without fullness of understanding. And I, I, I say to you right now that we have to understand who he is. We have to understand and come into complete revelation of what the word of God says. Pastors, you are not called to, 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 to have governorship. You are not called. If you are operating the office of the pastor, and excuse me, not the office, but the functionality, again, I'm renewing my mind, and the function gifts of the pastor, amen, you need to be connected to apostle and prophet. You need to be connected to the evangelist. There are anointings and callings and the teachers that are on their lives. We must be in one. So what I'm saying to you that needs to have all five functioning in every place you're calling the house of God because all five functions are Yeshua. All five functions are Yeshua. He had to break them up, you know, because we in this flesh. He had to break them up. Amen. And give this one down and give that one as a gift. He gave them as it pleased him, which he's called us to do, to come into one perfect man. I pray that this has blessed you, apostle, overseer. Amen. Called to govern the prophet. Hallelujah. Called to hear the instructions and timing of the Father and to guide us accordingly. Hallelujah. The evangelist called to gather and multiply the family of God. A lot of times they preach salvation. Hallelujah. And we have the pastor who's the fourth gift that's called to, to nurture and to care for the flock. Hallelujah. And, 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 and the teacher who's called to uh, grow us. Amen. With understanding. And teacher love to study. That's one of my, my gifts as an apostle. I love to study the word to grow, to make sure I'm teaching this thing right. Amen. And so we have our gifts and, 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 and it, the gift that the body and Christ has given us for us to grow. And we must align ourselves accordingly. Hallelujah. We ought to be trained and instructed by the teaching anointing. Hallelujah. All gifts needed, working together. We are a body to cause all of us to come into the preparation of being a bride, that one perfect man for Yahshua to be glorified in who he is in the earth today. I love you so much, and I pray that you have been blessed by this teaching. For I'm sitting the fire, I'm sitting.